So this lesson deals with right triangular similarity. Um, what we're talking about, we are talking about triangular similarity, or where that comes from, is if I take the um, point opposite the hypotenuse and I draw a line straight down so that it's perpendicular with this base, okay, um, what happens is I form three similar triangles. Okay? And the first one, obviously, um, is the original triangle that we had here, where it was E. F and G. Okay, but then I can take this line here and I split it into two different triangles. So I have this one. And then I have the small one. Okay. So all three of these triangles, it turns out, are similar. So we can use proportions and the things we've talked about in the previous lessons uh, to find different measurements of these. So that's what we're going to look at. All right, so now I'm going to show you kind of what I mean um, by finding, inserting some numbers in here and I'll just to find the value of x. All right, so these sides are proportional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, or the triangle is proportional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this triangle right here and kind of rotate it around so that it's facing the same way as this triangle here. So, um, I kind of put H up here on top. Right, so, my four is going to go here. And my X is going to go here. Right, so, this would be G and this would be F. I kind of flipped it and rotated it. Right, so, solving my proportions, I would say X is to. This x would go to the 3, as this hypotenuse, the 4, would go to this hypotenuse of the main triangle, which is 5. Okay, so um, cross multiplying this is going to give me 5x is equal to 12. If I divide by 5, that tells me x is 12 over 5, which would reduce to 2.4 if you turn, turn that into a decimal. Right, now we're going to look at what's called a geometric mean. Um, and that says for any positive numbers, A and B, I can uh, find a number, and we'll call that number X, so that A over X is equal to X over B. Okay? And so if I I'll kind of cross multiply this out. That tells me that x squared is equal to a times b. I thought so. Um, geometric mean of 24 and 48 is what we're looking for. So I know that the geometric mean of x squared is equal to a times b. Right, so here's my a and b. So I know x squared is equal to 24 times 48. So that means that. I take the square root of everything. X is equal to the square root times of 24 times 48. Now in this case, I did multiply these together because I can factor 24, 48 into 24 times 2. Right? And since I have 24 times 24, um, I know that this is going to create a pair. So this is going to come out of this square root. So I'm going to have 24 square roots of 2. So the geometric mean of 24 and 48 is 24 square root of 2. Right, so um, at this point you might be wondering what does the geometric mean have to do with similar right triangles? Uh, well if you remember at the beginning of the lesson we talked with this about a right triangle and if I drew a line from the vertex opposite the hypotenuse, and I drew it so that it was perpendicular to the hypotenuse, um, that all three of these triangles would be similar. Well, if I have this value here, 
that I'm looking for. And I know these two pieces. I know this distance happens to be six and this distance happens to be three. Um, I can use kind of the geometric mean problem or formula that we just looked at. And I can figure out what x is. Okay. What this geometric mean altitude theorem says is that this value x, if I square it, it's going to be equal to the product of these two pieces. So in this case, it would be 6 times 3. So that tells me that x squared is equal to 18, which means x is equal to the square root of 18. Now if I factor this down, I'm going to use 9 and 2 because 9 is a perfect square. So I know x is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And the square root of minus 3. Uh, 2 can't be simplified anymore, so I know that x is equal to 3 square root of 2. Alright, um, the other part of this lesson deals with, okay, what if I want to know one of these sides? Um, this would be the geometric mean leg theorem, where I want this value here, the y, and all I'm given is that this side is 2 and this piece is 5. Okay, well, the formula of the theorem says that y, if I square that, it's going to be equal to uh, whatever piece is kind of opposite across from here. It's going to be equal to 2 times the sum of, or the length of the hypotenuse. So if this is 2 and this is 5, that's going to be 7. So it's going to be this piece times the whole hypotenuse, which in this case is going to be 7, because I added the 2 and the 5. So that means y squared is equal to 14. Now to find y, I have to take the square root of 14. Okay. 14 doesn't simplify, so that is going to be my answer.